Good evening. Welcome to the meeting of the Finance Governance Committee. Um, when the clerk's got the recording organised, we'll uh, start with item number one, which is to receive apologies for absence. So we've got uh, apologies from councillors Angie, Buckley, Crosby, and Mess. Thank you. Um, has anybody got any declarations of interest relating to items on the agenda? No. Um, has anybody got any questions around the minutes in terms of accuracy? No. Is anybody willing to propose the minutes? Councillor Francis, Councillor Murray, seconding. All those in favour? All those in favour? The minutes? All right. So, any against? Any abstentions? Public participation, not exceeding 15 minutes. For members of the public to ask questions or submit comments. There are no members of the public present. Have we had any questions? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Item 5 to the re review of the year to date financial position for the town council, which is on page 5. I'll give you a couple of minutes to have a quick look, and then we'll ask Clark to um, take us through this. Anybody got any comments on the financial position before we ask for that? Uh, it's, <coughs> we're, in, we're in a strong financial position, strong reserves. Um, spend profile is a little bit below expectation, which is a positive and negative need for measure. It's um, overspend really demonstrated utility for not being significant or threat, just because we have changed in cost in the year. Um, most of the rest of it is spending to profile, frankly, so it's, um, there are no risks to identify that. Anybody got any comments? No. We've, we've reviewed it, there's no comments, so I don't need to go into this. So if we move on to item number six, to know to reference to council the approval of payments from the 1st of the 11th, 2020 to, to the 1st of the 1st, 2023, to the value of £2,077,325.25. <coughs> I'm sure the clerk will be able to answer yeah. that for you. Sorry, I need an apple. <laughs> I don't know what's actually back in the process for approvals is standard and fixed, and we have a set of points to make for issue to the chairs and committees um, for uh, cross checking, cross referencing, and random or all. Cross checks to make sure they're correct. We get approval to pay. From at least two chairs and committees, um, and is compiled together and that period of time to be shared with the chairs. Is anybody willing to propose a recommendation to council that we accept to be through these payments? Councillor Rose. Council today and Council second day. All those in favour? Um, item seven is to review the following governance documents as part of the annual governance review process. Council considers the reference, street name policy, bring your own designs policy, information and data protection policy, and personal data complaints policy. All these things. Um, Sent round or by email for a meeting. Anybody got any comments? 
while you refresh your memory about those, this is a part of our role in review of governance. We have a lot of governance in the council, and so rather than doing massive kits, we have a few at each meeting and get recommended to council as review of data that's required. Uh, in terms of reference, they are for each committee, their standard documents. Street name policy is a long standing one with no significant oversight from the board and very, very brief to make sure. Bring your own device policy, it relates to ensuring data security. Um, so if you use your own device for um, processing data from the council, just to ensure it's used on the drive. So that's slight notes there. Information data protection that's been updated again. There is no GDPR National Data Protection, protection Act. And 7.5 is a new policy devised by our um, GPO Data Protection Officer, which is an external, um, external independent auditor who provides these this advice and makes a personal data protection policy that's advisable. So I can do you. Thank you. Has anybody got any questions or comments? No, apart from the 7.5 is a brand new one. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Like, that's provided in a sort of few localised. No, no great amendments. A few, a few here, here's and there just updating by the new context of the committee. So we don't. Just review, so we don't even. They're going to be re resolved to recommend to council. Right. So, is anybody willing to propose that we recommend these documents to council? Council Murray, anybody second? Council Walton, all those in favour? Um, item 8 to receive and consider the completion of the procurement review and associated governance and actions. Page 77. Mark, you want to read uh, yeah. us on this? You'll recall a little while ago I asked, um, would you consider it was doing a full review, which cost some money? Um, that we went through the procurement to get people to do that, and they have fulfilled that job very thoroughly, gone through our film processes, which you'll see in the report they provide were of a, an acceptable ish standard, but could do with some improvements, and they put forward their improvements in a quite significant suite of documents. Including the easy to access guide on how we should, for the officers, how we should progress through different scales of procurement and providing template documents to achieve that to ensure we're complying with all the appropriate regulations and there are lots. Um, so, in that, um, you, you're there for recognizing this procurement review um, that it's been received and it's, uh, it's understood and it recognizes where we're doing things right and where things can be tightened up. And the next part is the recommendation of the changes to the associated government documents. So there are changes to the standing orders of contracts, the standing orders, the uh, financial regulations, and the procurement policy, um, as recommended by this review. And then the board of track changes. And there aren't wholesale changes that, but there are some very definite amendments so they comply with the the relevant up-to-date regulations associated with that. I can't memorise all of them, but they are, they are track changes. There's nothing controversial in there. We're not suddenly saying we can buy what we want when we want. It's actually time to look at the water We feel at different scales. So, particularly as we progress into the thousands of pound scales we have. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so you're proposing that we recommend these to yeah, the council. Council Rhodes? In, in the introduction that we engaged to the House of Officers, generally speaking, they, they, they were quite supportive of the, of the officers. Yeah. Because um, obviously, different officers have more involvement than others. Um, but generally speaking, that, that, that was good. Um, but resulting in now having policy, what training will have taken place or will take place to make certain that all our officers are able to screen with the new policy? Yes, quite right. Good question. Um, the, the, the contracts that this company um, signed up for includes the, uh, medical, the, the training, if you like. So there is booked in a half day session with all staff. Um, irrespective of what scale they cure at, so they can um, absorb how it's relevant to them and how they need to 
perspective. Now, what we've had already is all the documents have been supplied, they've been reviewed by all the team, and as there are any questions that came out of that, we're going to fed back to make, make the meeting pretty more accessible. The team um, taking it on board and very positive about this, it makes it a lot easier, less guesswork and more. Go straight to the template and off you go. Um, and off the top of the prayer, I don't know when that day is, but it's called the next couple of weeks. Um, we'll all be sat down and taken through step by step on each element from a small purchase of a bit of printing or whether we're going to contract our printing for the year to one organization for the same money quicker to tight and large and also the bit required in the um, procurement regulations on large contracts and tenders. Yeah. Yeah. So you quite right, it's a Thank you. Um, it's been proposed that we recognise this council, everybody wants to second. Council Murray, all those in favour of recommending this procurement process? Thank you. Um, item 9 on page 35 is the council audit. Um, a while ago, in fact, before the meeting, it was advised by the internal audit that it should be. Um, there, are, there are usually two tiers of audit, which is um, internal audit, independent audit, and external audit, uh, which we go through at um, the time. And then the internal audit recommended that there should be councillor member audits of the things we do, so members can come in um, and go through any system or process or paperwork that they want to look at and check that it's done according to policy or practice. Um, here, and the data is available. And there are a number of members who've done this, and this one was most recently done by Councilor Minshaw, um, who came into the office and spent some time going through uh, finance files, payroll files, and minutes. Just to be noted, really, just to be ensure that we're fulfilling the, the advice of our office. I welcome the volunteers for this process, my It's often a little hard to push them to come and look at our paperwork um, <laughs> formally, but you're welcome to do it any time you want. And the uh, process of memory is certainly a positive thing. Has anybody got any comments or questions on the No. Um, consider an update on the John Matt Brown Trust, which is page 135. Well, you want to do updates on the John Matt Brown Trust? I'm sorry, it's page 137. Oh, sorry, 137. Sorry. You fall for it? Don't take a long Okay, right, the John McBride Trust is a long-standing um, trust set up by a resident of Crewe, well, a son of Crewe who moved to Canada and made uh, some money, and they set up a trust for the benefits of Crewe, and that's um, effectively almost debating the terms of that trust for the Charity Commission. Um, there is a total fund value in the 63. £3,467.45p at the most recent statements um, and it's passed through a number of um, posts for this. The Crew Town Council stands as a, a single trustee of the trust. So all members of trustees were attached to the corporate body of the council stands as trustees. Um, and the, the, the fund has been sat dormant for many, many years before it arrived at Crew Town Council. Now, there were some significant operational issues with this fund, um, and I have tried for a year to get through the energy issues with it, um, just to make it accessible and usable. And in the end, um, the auditor has advised that uh, we seek a means by which we've seen the last bit of a fire, which the, uh, the funds are uh, made more accessible away from energy. Um, the internal auditor, by the way, is experiencing these sorts of investments and so it was uh, work of the complex with us. So in here there is um, there, there is an options appraisal. Uh, there's actually a copy of the recommendation of the auditor as well, the second page of it. 
and uh, go through the usual options. So do nothing, no change. Um, <coughs> just you don't know, fulfill the inter of guidance, but equally, you know, we, we just accept it's the perfect system. We sit on the trust in debt, we, um, but it doesn't fulfill the aims of that trust. Um, develop a small grants process. Well, we already operate small grants process in duplication, duplication administration, and would there be a significant need? These, these are all good options. Um, we could identify a small number of medium sized projects uh, and deliver the full fund to them, um, and, and that will fulfill the purpose of the fund and, and cease, the, uh, cease the trust. Uh, identify a single charity or project uh, that fulfills the objects of the, of the charity and, um, and deliver the funds to that to, to make that uh, project happen, uh, or transfer the funds to an EMR reserve seat. The Free Town Council that will sit there until a, an opportunity brings itself forward. And um, all these options, if you were to have a preferred one, would require uh, more action than just deciding tonight. And we have to run the proposal through the Charity Commission to ensure it fulfills their requirements and then uh, process it accordingly to, to deliver it. So, um, the conclusions. Uh, the administration and trust without output of funds for the purposes of charitable objects is unsustainable. That's Having to deal with MED and, and transferring money from it when it pays a small dividend, which is relatively small, it's come into our account, we have to leave from our account to a separate co op account, uh, which is, is not advisable in that setup. And then having to um, request information from MED does take up significant time. Uh, the administration of the charity falls to the council as well, so the general returns you have to do on that. The internal auditor is advised action to deliver the objects of the charity. Uh, there are several viable options subject to the mission of the Charity Commission that would enable to give the objects of the charity and move results for the council to the conclusion of consideration requiring meeting the trust to make the final decision. It is effectively leaving the council fully intact without defining as a uh, formal meeting of that trust. So, is there a preferred means of uh, progress in um, the most uh, the, the, the quickest response would be to see, to see if it could be in our reserve within the uh, Free Town Council for the purposes of delivery of John the Bright Trust attending, which is preventative through. So, identifying projects as yet unknown in the future, or if the members are aware of projects, the projects will be down that route. We'd have to also see the Char uh, Charity Commission uh, engagement advice with that. And once the final delivery option is detailed, Meeting charities call to conclude the decision making process and effectively one of the charity will on the agreement with the charity commission. It's, it's sort of a positive situation. There is a fund that we administer, it really has no benefit to the community crew, which could be released to have benefit. It's, what that benefit is in the service, yeah, because we don't have product to put it towards. <laughs> Seeking to fulfill the um, auditors. Advice, but also not to deal with them and Jim. Does anybody have any comments? Quite a long question. Really, isn't it? It's nice to the fact that you've got one back with John McBride all years ago. I think what we have needed is that that comes to happen with our council. Is we've gone through all this what was the good for the good of good. Mm -hmm. People in the past have been saying, why don't we spend our money? Mm -hmm. It's not that much cost to please. So it's always been very difficult how to allocate. I personally wouldn't want to be in that reserve because that is in the council but This is separate. And I believe it should be separate. That's my that's my opinion. I don't think we should I don't think we should put this excel clear matters there is good as I know that we 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 shall accept falls upon us to run it nonetheless. I just feel you know it says things like the um conclusion when it says you have to close the council for the internal orders and those actions to deliver the objects of the charity. But what are the objects of the charity? Objects of the charity of the benefit of crew. That's it. The benefit of crew. And therefore, that is, it's always been a problem. 
I mean, it was it was one of them that, that was with Kuhn and his brother council, and then it was a block, and then on the line, that went to Cheshire Hills. This then, on the line, the town council said, so, oh, then we got this, this the John McBride Trust. It, it, it's a difficult one, because you want to spend it in a sense, because it would benefit. But what would that be? How, how can we... I know the one that says, well, we should do other additions to the detective. But well, again, it, 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 you've got to think this through because the, the other object of this is to make it. And I have no answer to that. I, I, I'm doing what I always do, like checking, checking what, you know, because it, I, I just don't know how, how we ever resolve it in the positive. It's a nice problem to have. We've got more money. It would be nice to spend it on the staff. For the benefit of the residents of the town. But how do we? I don't know. I guess you only do that if you have to have a meeting with the trust. I guess it's a new, new council. We do that. I don't, I just, I, I, I don't, I haven't got any solutions. I just think it's always a problem. How we move forward. the problem. And I understand. It's time consuming and, and energy now. They should be, should be. Yeah, it's important. 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 Would give some of this money to the local charities that need the help. Don't ask me which ones they are, please, but <laughs> there's enough of them um, that help the people in crew, so, which is, I take it, is the basis of what this guy wanted to do in the first place. We literally, so, have, we literally have only that statement for the benefit of the crew. Yeah. So, that's, that's, that's what we have to do, and that's what's within the charity. So if, if we are. Uh, if it comes to the crunch, if we are putting this money into the charities that are in crew or crew people, then that is the object of the fund, isn't it? Yeah, in, in, it it certainly could be argued that way. It's, it's one of those things. Yeah. I would suggest that whatever the fund does and is used for in the future, because you didn't determine it yet, um, and it goes towards one or more. Activities, projects, or such in, in crew. It is for the benefit of the crew. But those who don't access that sort may not consider it for the benefit of their version of the crew. So you're always in that challenging situation of the money is a significant sum, they're on £60,000, but in a town of 70,000 people, what, what is the benefit of crew? So it's an yeah. undefined thing. So it's a great concept, but well, your perception of benefit of crew may well be different to, to Kevin's benefit. Yeah, definition no. benefit crew. And so it, it's a really one part of the this, this is seeking to find a means of administering it in an efficient way. Yeah. Um, because it sat stagnant for quite a long time, even before we had it as well. And that's because of how hard it is to administer it, because it is set up as well. And notice, and I would agree with this, and advise the means by which you get it out of that process into a new process. Am I right in saying that Wilson Ellis has been applied to the council for some money? Now, if they have read it somewhere, uh, it's applied to one of the committees for some money. It would apply to the community plan. <laughs> so, wouldn't them asking for that money, would it not be better that if that money was granted, it come out of this fund for the benefit of the ministers of the town? The end of the day, you were scouted. I know they used to have somebody that was a finance or whether it's still was not, whether it's still living in the higher class world. But um, they've done a lot of it. They've done a lot of things with Long Cutter. They were one of the first scout groups to take um, a scout group to Europe before now. And it's Holland, Latin, all of the problems. So I had the pleasure of one of them as a scout leader before. If something like people like them are asking for 
mondjuk ideig, hogy itt beszpinál, vagy fejtsen mondjuk a Administration 
and officers. Once we have that money, we can then look at whether you want to have a grant system or whether you want to go for a particular project. But until, as, as long as it's in the John McBride Trust, it's going to be increasingly difficult for us to access it. And, it, and until it becomes into the town council, then we're always going to have this discussion. We've had this discussion because we've got a John McBride Trust. And, and it's never gone anywhere apart from being kicked in the long run. Can we not set up something to manage it? As it, as it is now, you're asking town clerk and officers to manage it, and it's not their money. And so it's going to be an issue. And, we're, and plus the fact, we as a town council can't administrate, it has to be the trustees. So until you release it from its trustees, yeah. we're not going to be able to do yeah. that. But with, until I get this back, that's real awesome. we've got this in the house. Because when we had John McBride Trust meeting, we had John McBride Trust meeting, but now we can. So we've got to make a recommendation to the McBride Trust So can we put it on the agenda that we're calling for a meeting of the trustees? And see what happens. Yeah. Then I propose that we call for a meeting of the John McBride um, trustees and we set a date at the council meeting. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, I'm not second that. But I think we have to be resolved this because it's just going to go around and around and around and so on. Being a main YouTube being on the council is not about it. But it takes seven years. Mm -hmm. We never spent any money, we never decided what to do with it, because actually we can't spend it in this room with an accountant, not the trustees. Mm -hmm. But it's I think. Surely at the minute we're, we're going to find out some government for that. Yes, but oh, we're not the John McBride trustees no. right now. Yes. Something's got. And so it's got to be sorted out somewhere, yeah, yeah, and it yeah. needs to be done sooner rather than later. Yes. Ken, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, I know nothing about this. I didn't even know it existed. So if we get it put on the agenda for yes. the town council, that we're calling for a meeting of the John McBride Trust, yes. once that is done, then I take it that all the councillors are meet here as the John McBride Trust. And they'll take the council that tax off. Yes, and they'll all be trustees. So then we can all have our discussion here. And that way, I believe, I believe, yeah. that that saw it. Well, anyway. Well, I think <laughs> that if it, if it is called, then I think that the majority of council should turn up. Um, well, it's not like everything you can't force yeah, on, can you? But no. no. But I mean, it, it will, it on will, something it, like this, the yeah. majority should be there. Well, I agree. At the end of the day, there's no point in having the uh, 43 to 51% of the council and then saying yes that's what we agree because 49% turn around and say well can't do that because right. I wasn't there well then <laughs> the answer to that is well you should have been yes the all is yeah, yeah, so I think, I think it, will, it will not be as long as it's in the new council because mm -hmm. we go into further mid March mm -hmm. so really if we're talking about this happening in the new council yes yeah. Can we can we wait until the new council is formed? Yeah. And then you can do you can, honestly you can do whatever you want. You can continue yeah. as it is and you can I can schedule a meeting now um, for some time after the fourth May. Um the John McBride Trust, that's absolutely fine. Um, equally between now and then I can ask uh, the boys work frankly to reach out to the commission for what their view is. They're not desperately forthcoming on options, so you tend to ask that. That's a series of direct questions and uh, piece together very short responses. Um, and and I'll, I'll do my very best to give you more detail, but we are, we are dealing with this as it always has sat, which is an incomplete process. Um, right. At some point, that, that final decision has to, has to come down. One day, whether it's, whether it's that, that meeting in the future or a meeting 20 years from now, I'm just going to come down and say, right, this is how that money should be spent. Well, we've been waiting oh, seven. Sorry, we've been waiting seven years. Another couple of months ain't gonna work. No, is it? no. So, and I think we we need to make the decision about what we do with it because 
there's money there that could be used for various causes of the project, which proved like it's been used for yeah, It's that, not benefiting anyone. Well, that could no, only no, no, on the challenge. The challenge. Yes. To tell you what you can do and not do. Yeah. You want to wander it down and find. Let's go down that route. But then we need to make sure we've got a. Yeah. Well, you're saying that you're doing it the right way you want to wind it down. But I just point out, I mean, on the um, item 10, the investment said 23% of 22 to 20%. And it says des designation JM. The John Mac Bribe Trust. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that might well be the one that's the most of the article. Just an observation. <laughs> Thank you very much. So we've, we've resolved in that. Um, I will call a meeting in the new administration of so, council um, of the John Mac Bribe Trust and seek. Guidance from Chairman Commission why do you manage expectations with detail of the five? So, Councillor Stone has suggested that I second that. All those in favour of calling the meeting to come up by when we've got the information. When, when we have the relevant information in the new council year. If I can get the relevant information. Well, in the most ways, yes. And then, last item is the item 11. Proposed date, the next meeting is Tuesday, the 25th of April at 7 pm.